Hi guys, this is Jubin Grewal from Tekken5.com and today we're actually looking at the hardware of the Nokia N9, sort of like a hardware review. So let's get to it. So obviously this is the Nokia N9 over here. It's a gorgeous little device. The body is actually a polycarbonate build which feels actually quite good in the hands. Uh, probably one of the best phones I've ever held. Uh, probably Nokia's best phones in years, probably. It's actually just one piece, and as you can see, it's a curved edge right around here. Straight over here, is, it's flat, so you can just stand it up sort of like that. Right there. Same on the back, or oh, the top actually. It features a 1 gigahertz processor inside, a 3.9 inch AMOLED clear black display screen which is actually ridiculously good and we'll show you that in the software review next and that roughly translates to about 251 pixels per inch on the back over here there's a 8 megapixel camera with Carl Zeiss lens and dual flash as well Carl Zeiss optics sorry um, the video recording capabilities of this phone are about 720p as well it does have NFC chip inside as well, 1 gigabyte of RAM, and it comes in 16 or 64 gigabytes of storage, and this one is actually 16. And it's running Mego on it as well, and you'll see more of that in the software review. And it weighs, it's actually quite light, surprisingly light, considering it is thick. It's probably around 12.1 millimeters thick, with curved edges like I said. And uh, put that in perspective, I believe the iPhone 4S is actually 9.3 inches, so quite a bit thicker than the iPhone 4S. However, it only weighs 135 grams, which is 5 grams less than the iPhone 4S, which is remarkable for such a fat phone. Well, actually, I wouldn't call it fat, but in the specs, it feels kind of fat. When you actually feel it, though, it doesn't feel that fat at all because of the curved edges on the sides over here as well as the curved display over there. Now, one thing to note about this phone is you'll notice there are actually no buttons on the front, touch or capacitor. Uh, basically, that's because this is the first pure touchscreen phone ever, meaning, like I said, no buttons, no capacitive buttons found on the front of the phone down here, or up there, anywhere. Uh, I do feel it can be a little annoying not having a home button in the middle here or something, but I suppose that's all right. Uh, another strange thing about this phone actually would be that this down over here is actually a front-facing camera. It's kind of weird to have it if you were to hold it like this in your right hand if you're used to it. Uh, you're obviously blocking the front-facing camera. A little strange. Uh, and the weirdest bit is that there are actually no apps right now that actually take advantage of Nokia N9's front-facing camera. Not even Skype. Over here you have a sensor as you can see, uh, and we'll get more into that like I said in the software review. On the side over here, nothing, it's a clean finish. On the bottom, as you can see, there are there's a speaker right over here. Let's just put that into focus, right there is a the speaker. On the sides over here, you've got the power button and the volume rocker. Uh, there is no dedicated camera button over here which is slightly annoying because uh, you do have to touch the screen every time and over here on the top you've got your headphone port and you've got your mini or micro USB slot right here and the SIM card slot right here so basically you pop that one open out comes the slot there's your micro sorry mini USB oh well, either one uh, and uh, all you have to do is you slide that one over, it pops out like that, and you got your mini USB right there. Uh, mini SIM card, sorry. It's uh, a little annoying that Nokia have gone the same route as the iPhone, or Apple in this case, of going with their mini SIM cards, but at the same time, it's not much of a problem. You just pop into your local store and just pick one up. So. Just slide that back in there. Oops, wrong way around. And that just goes in there. You click that and it's done. 
on the back, like we said, it's just the camera with the Nokia branding and the Carl Zeiss branding right there as well. Dual flash camera, nothing else. Uh, I don't know if you can see it in the light, but it does attract a bit of fingerprints. So I end up being, you know, cleaning it a little bit every now and then. On the front as well, as you can see, fingerprint right there. It, well, you're not going to expect much. I mean, it is standard uh, touchscreen and you are going to get fingerprint smudges on it as well and we'll just try and turn this on and see how long it actually takes to turn on Nokia branding comes up on the front much expected the first time I turned it on it was a little slow but that was coming right out of the box so that might have taken its time hopefully now it has sped up a little bit and we can actually get to the quick look at the software before the software review in the next video Mm. I do wish it would start up a bit quicker unfortunately there's not much that can be done about that right now but I guess it seems to be doing something well anyway let's just get back to it like I was saying polycarbonate build one piece and really nice to hold in the hand you actually have to feel it up close to actually understand how light it feels in your hand, how great it feels, even though it's thick, you don't even realize it's thick. It's not bulgy at all. I believe the curves right over here help as well on the sides. And you can see on this, this side over here and this side quite curvy. And it seems to be on now. So that's the first look at Nokia's Migo operating system, which they have actually stopped making as they're going all in with Windows Phone. So it's pretty nice. The screen resolution is incredible on this one. Or should I just say the AMOLED screen? It it's bright, it pops on the screen, uh everything, every other color works as well. Surprisingly not as good on video, which I was testing it out last night. Just this bit of swipe thing. Uh we'll, anyway, we'll get back to that in the next video as well. So that's it for now for Tekken 5's Hydra review of the Nokia N9. Basically it feels great, it looks great, it's pretty light for a phone of its thickness and its size as well. Uh, polycarbonate build finish is magnificent, one of Nokia's best like I said. So if you're going to go just with hardware, this is the phone to get. Do you agree with from Tekken 5? Thanks for watching.